Hey guys, I know it's been a while. I thought I'd make a video. I'm going to plan on upgrading my computer soon to Windows 11 or attempt to do so. Uh, it's an older computer, so it does not beat the, the actual specs that are required. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm planning on making a video about that as well. Uh, but I want to back up the hard drive first. So uh, I'm going to use a clone program. And I've decided to use Fox Clone because it can also handle Linux partitions, which I currently have Linux on that computer. Um, there's a number of Windows programs that are great too, but a lot of them are not, not free, or at least not the full version. So Fox Clone is completely free. Um, I was originally going to uh, use Ventoy to boot into Fox Clone, but for whatever reason, Ventoy would not work. So I've had to go back and completely change what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to use a program called Rufus. Go to Rufus's website, uh, download the exe file. At least if I, you're on Windows anyway. I'm not sure if Rufus is made for um, Linux or, or, or Mac anyway. So. So that's the Rufus program, but now we need to get our ISO. So we're going to have to go to the Fox clone website for that and then come back to Rufus to actually make, actually make our, our bootable flash drive. And just Google Fox clone and go to the download section there's two options there's a standard and then the other version uh, the standard version is for most computers and then the other version is for stuff that computers that are really new uh, from for me anyway the standard version is, is what I used So now we're going to go back to where we downloaded Rufus, go into the program. Uh, you need to pick, to pick your, your flash drive. And then you're going to pick ISO image. And go find the ISO of Foxconn that you just downloaded. Uh, the other options, you don't need to change any of those. Those can just stay as is. Then simply just hit the start button. It's going to give you two options here. Uh, the default work from for me. Then hit yes. Hit OK. And it's going to do its thing. And then once it gets done doing all that, You'll just simply reboot your computer. You'll need to go into your BIOS and make sure that your BIOS is set to boot from the flash drive. And then you'll get into the Fox clone program and we'll take it from there. Okay, so now we need to restart our computer and then when it restarts you may have to hit in my case I had to F, F2 it could be different on your computer it should show you when it first comes up what button to hit now we're into the boot menu or the BIOS we need to go to the boot menu and we need to put that flash drive as the very first thing that the computer looks to to boot to 
uh, if you have to make if you have to change something there hit save if not you don't have to hit save so now it boots into Fox clone uh, I use the safe mode because I was, I've, I've had some other issues with it not wanting to boot correctly otherwise um, it gives you the option to pick video modes you in my case I didn't I didn't do anything there I just hit space and kept going and also if you do nothing it will automatically start after 30 seconds Okay, so now we're into Fox Clone. Fox Clone is just a version of Ubuntu, basically. Um, it has Wi-Fi access. I don't know exactly why you need that, unless there's maybe updates to it that you wanted to do. Um, as you can see, there's other options with in the menu of other programs that might come in handy, but I'm not here to use any of those in this situation. So all I want to do is go to the Fox clone program, which is right where I'm getting ready to click. And then it's going to scan all the drives, flash drives, hard drives, everything that's connected to this computer. Um, in this situation, I used a, the flash drive to get into this program. And then I'm going to copy my hard drive onto my external hard drive that is hooked through USB. And you can use this program, you know, to back up your hard drive, not necessarily just do a do a clone. So there are you know, um, some other options, but for this video and this purpose of this video, we're going to go to the clone menu. And you pick the first, the first menu is the hard drive that you're cloning from, and the second is going to be the hard drive you're cloning to. So just make sure that you're picking the correct ones before you hit clone, because it is going to erase one of those discs. Whatever disc you're cloning on to, it's going to erase that disc. So make sure that you don't hit the wrong thing or your data will be gone. And then it's just going to take some time to run through this process. Um, in my case, I think it was about 30 minutes or so. 